journey of gratitude after the COVID pandemic. Let us approach the Lord who makes all things new for all the blessings and graces we received during the COVID pandemic. After every petition, let us say together, Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. For reminding us of the fragility of life, shielding us when no one else dared to shelter us, and opening our minds to what is really essential, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For allowing us to connect with one another with faith and love, despite the isolation that sickness had imposed on us, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the heroic kindness of those who provided us with scientific, social, and spiritual help when doing so was both risky and life-threatening for them, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the gift of newly discovered medicines and vaccines to combat the virus and the wonder of natural immunity, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the gift of assuring presence when we were anxious and distressed, depressed and lonely and impatient during the pandemic, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Loving God, no thought of ours is unknown to you. No tear we shed is unimportant to you. No joy we celebrate is alien to you. You entered our world of sickness, suffering, and death, and you know the fears we face. Accept our thanksgiving for your provident love during the COVID pandemic. As you wept at the death of Lazarus, breathe the breath of life everlasting on all those who died from the coronavirus. You have turned our fears into joy, and for this we thank and praise you. To you be glory, now and forever. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. Saint Michael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate today the feast day of Saint Athanasius, the great teacher of the Church who taught us that Jesus is, God, is both God and man. May we learn always through our experience of Jesus' saving power. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. 
Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who raised up the bishop, Saint Athanasius, as an outstanding champion of your son's divinity, mercifully grant that rejoicing in his teaching and his protection, we may never cease to grow in knowledge and love of you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Those who had been scattered by the persecution that arose because of Stephen went as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch, preaching the word to no one but Jews. There were some Cypriots and Cyrenians among them, however, who came to Antioch and began to speak to the Greeks as well, proclaiming the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number who believed turned to the Lord. The news about them reached the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to go to Antioch. When he arrived and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced and encouraged them all to remain faithful to the Lord in firmness of heart, for he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and faith. And the large number of people was added to the Lord. Then he went to Tarsus to look for Saul. And when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year they met with the church and taught a large number of people. And it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All you nations, praise the Lord. All you nations, praise the Lord. His foundation upon the holy mountains, the Lord loves. The gates of Zion, more than any dwelling of Jacob. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. All you nations, praise the Lord. I tell of Egypt and Babylon among those who know the Lord, of Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia. This man was born there, and of Zion they shall say, One and all were born in her, and he who established her is the Most High Lord. All you nations praise the Lord. They shall note when the peoples are enrolled, this man was born there, and all shall sing in their festive dance, My home is within you. All you nations, praise the Lord. Please stand. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. 
I know them and they follow me. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The feast of the dedication was taking place in Jerusalem. It was winter. And Jesus walked about in the temple area on the portico of Solomon so the Jews gathered around him and said to him, How long are you going to keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you, and you do not believe. The works I do in my Father's name testify to me. But you do not believe because you are not among my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one can take them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all, and no one can take them out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, we commemorate today an important saint and teacher and doctor of the church who is Saint Athanasius. He was one of the important teachers who taught us that Jesus is both God and man. What we proclaim every Sunday whenever we profess the creed that Jesus is consubstantial with the Father, that Jesus and the Father are one. But how did Saint Athanasius, how did the apostles, how did the fathers of the teacher realized and understood that Jesus and the Father are one. Paano nila naintindihan, paano nila nalaman na si Jesus nga ay Diyos, kaisa ng Ama? My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus in the Gospel passage today teaches us that we will learn that Jesus is God only through our experience. Makikilala natin ang Diyos sa pamamagitan ng karanasan natin sa Kanya. That is why Jesus, when He was teaching the disciples and the Jews at that time, told them that the works that I do testify that I and the Father are one. You need to listen to me. You need to look at what I am doing. Then you will realize and learn that the Father and I are one. God is teaching all of us through our experience. Hindi po ba ganyan tayo natututo? 
sa experience. Sometimes, my preaching is not enough until you experience it. Tama ba? Marami sa inyo lumalapit sa akin kapag katapos kong mag-preach. Sometimes, even after a few days, a few weeks, a few months, or even a few years, approaching me and telling me, you know, Father, tama ang sinabi mo kasi naranasan ko na. Sometimes, preaching will not be enough until you yourself experience it. And God always teaches us through experience. And Saint Athanasius and all the fathers of the church who taught us that Jesus is God learned all of these through experience. That is why in our first reading today from the Acts of the Apostles, when Barnabas and Saint Paul learned that in Antioch, God was working even through Gentiles, they needed to go there to see for themselves that it is God's grace working through them. It is not enough that they heard about it. They needed to learn it by experiencing it themselves. My dear brothers and sisters, God will teach us through our experience. That is why we need to be open to God through our experience. At the end of the day, let us examine ourselves and see how was I able to experience God today. And through those experiences, God may be speaking to me. My dear brothers and sisters, St. Athanasius taught us that Jesus was not only man, he was God. And he was able to learn it through his experience of Jesus. May God always speak to us through our experiences. Amen. Please stand. God gives eternal life to the sheep of his flock. Let us pray to the Father, confident that we can never be taken away from his care. For every petition, let us say, Divine Shepherd, keep us among your flock. Divine Shepherd, keep us among your flock that the Pope and the bishops may become true shepherds by leading their flock to good pastures. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine Shepherd, shepherd keep, keep us among your flock, that those who wandered away from the path of righteousness may, led, may be led back to the fold. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine Shepherd, shepherd keep, keep us among your, your flock, flock that the youth may hear the voice of the Good Shepherd, calling them to serve God's family in a special way. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine Shepherd, shepherd keep, keep us among your flock, that the sick may experience the tenderness of the Good Shepherd through the loving care of their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine Shepherd, shepherd keep, keep us among, among your flock, flock, that Christ, the Good Shepherd, may lead the dead safely home. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine Shepherd, Shepherd, keep us among your flock. Heavenly Father, hear our prayers. Bless each one of us in the way you know best. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, O Lord, upon the offerings we present to you in commemoration of Saint Athanasius, and may witnessing to your truth bring salvation to those who profess as he did an unblemished faith through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Athanasius, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end, we acclaim, holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. 
the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
please stand. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, Almighty God, that the true divinity of your only begotten Son, which we firmly profess with St. Athanasius, may through this sacrament ever give us life and protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen.